Okay, Tom, I think I'm recording. Okay, we've got the Borax powder in the bottom. With... Firstly, shouldn't you explain what we're trying to do here? Hey, I'm first ever video. Okay, <laughs> we are going to do experimental smelt of thermite of bog iron, making turning bog iron into iron using a thermite reaction, which is basically having your bog iron roasted up, crushed up into a dust, then adding magnesium powder to make thermite, um, igniting that and hoping that the oxygen burns off and that the iron is left at the end. This is a very technical operation. We've got the... This pan's got the mix of bog iron which has been roasted or heated vigorously and mixed in with a... <coughs> a amount of magnesium. What we've done here is we separated a bit of this and we've added a quantity of borax as a flux to that as well. Hopefully it will still um, perform the uh, reaction, the thermite reaction. And then, um, and then we've got the rest of the thermite to go in the top. I'm just going to take off this uh, big heavies off the top there, just because they're going to... Just get in the way of stuff a little bit, I think. Okay. By the way, we're doing this in a crucible, which has been filled with sand. Yeah, I should do that a bit gently. That's a bit dusty, isn't it? And uh, we've just made a, a cone using a paper funnel. Okay. Okay, I think, so I take the camera and you want to finish that off there? I you? think I'll stop it here. Okay. Um, okay, here's the crucible ready to go. So we've got a little dimple in the top of the thermite there. And they're crushed match heads. So I take the camera with you. Um, yep. Okay. Unfortunately, Tom. I'd stand this side in and go. I haven't got a lighter, so I'm going to have to use a match. match to drop it in there. Okay. That's a nice controlled burn. It is actually, isn't it? I wonder if it's even hot enough actually though. Oh. Yeah? I think it is. We'll soon see. Yeah, there's some heat coming off that, Tom. Some UV as well. Stand back a bit, sorry. Just in case as it gets deeper, okay. it pops. It's kind of gone to the side, isn't it, a bit? That's just the way it's venting. You want a tapper, don't you, Tom? I've got my tapper here. Okay, okay. But you might have to do the tapping, or do you want to take the camera? That's the reaction over, I'd say. Okay. Right, has it formed a, a bit of a uh, an aerated thing? And tap this together, and there's a little bloom on the bottom. And that is tapping together quite nicely into some lump at the bottom there. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, I guess we've got some panning to do. Yeah. Just emptied this out. And there's a nice cherry red lump in the bottom. Which I think Tom's just going to get his little tappy stick and uh, tap a bit more. Losing a bit of heat quite quickly now, though. 
felt hard then for a minute. Oh, it did, but it's going down into the sand. Yeah. Into two bits, I think. Oh, it's the first bit coming out. Oh, look at that. That's the borax mm -hmm. at the bottom, or the paper. This will be interesting. Water. Is that just a paper cone? Yeah. I think it's probably either that bit, that's the bit we want. Yeah, stick that in there. No, don't, don't, no. don't. It's probably about gone. Just move the thing to grab it. That's a hot bit. That's behaving like a... Like a nice lump of iron. That had some heat to it, didn't it, Tom? It did, yeah. You don't see that red uh, heat in iron till 500 degrees, so we're still... And that, I think, is a bit of pig iron, basically, at that point. Okay, so... Following the thermite smelt, we got a nice bloom, uh, probably about the size of a golf ball, and we cut that in half with a hacksaw. And as you can see, it's uh, magnetic. Quite, yeah, a little magnet. That's a tiny little magnet on there, tiny yeah. little thing. Yeah. Um, so the next stage for this lump. Uh, or for the next test is to maybe go um, a tad bigger again and we're going to do this at uh, Tom's Forge where we can reheat that back to its welding heat and hopefully push all that iron back together so it's a lot less uh, porous and get it into one piece so I guess that will be part two yeah cheers